Hey, what's up guys? Still greetings from the CB 2016. We're here with Kuwil checking out another Chinese hoverboard. So this is actually the first one I've got here in my hands and today um, it's teardown time again so we're going to have a look on what we can find inside of such a Chinese hoverboard. Alright, so first of all key facts about such a thing now it comes directly from China. They're actually manufacturer so the end user price will be something around 500 euros. Kind of expensive. This is why I have, haven't imported something like that for myself before. Now let's talk about some other key facts now. Um, the battery inside is pretty big, we'll just have a look at that in a second. And um, the battery life is one to two hours depending on the speed. Let's talk about speed, up to 15 kilometers per hour and charging time is around two hours. But that's not everything, it has some kind of buttons, it has some LED indicator which tells you if the battery runs out or if there's a problem with um, this, this a kind of um, problem button, so if something is wrong with the internal hardware it will show up. It has some lights here, so um, lighted up foot pads and also it has lights in the front, such LED stripes which light up in different colors. Pretty nice looking wheels, so nice aluminum rims and yeah, um, there's a charging adapter, it's around 84 watts, and as I've told you, charging time is around two hours. Um, it also has Bluetooth speakers, so you can play back music while you're driving your flights. So definitely, if you do that at night in the streets, it must look pretty awesome. Okay, then I would say, let's quickly take off the back cover, let's check out what we can find inside, and they told us they have pretty good components, so let's check it out. So they're taking now off the back plates, and as you can see, you can already see a lot of cables inside and also a lot of electronics. So such a hoverboard is not only the motor and the big battery, it also includes several of electronic circuits for the stabilization and yeah, um, gyroscope and all that. So I'm pretty excited on how it will look um, if everything is removed. Alright guys, so there we go. As you can see, they have removed the back cover and let's talk a little bit about the components you can see inside. So here we have that coupler which basically connects the left and the right part and you can see you can rotate that. So that's basically to um, drive here, for instance, a curve. Um, has pretty massive cables inside because, for instance, um, each motor has 350 watts, equaling 700 watts of power in those small wheels. Now the whole chassis is made out of zinc, aluminum alloy, so this is really stable and durable. Um, then here's some kind of motherboard which is also connected to a Bluetooth speaker which you can see for instance right over here. So there's one speaker in the right to left um, thing here where also the buttons are located which you can see um, right over here. So we have here just the power button and we have here the charging port. So in order to charge it there's a charger included which has 84 um, watts so also quite powerful and with that one here you can charge it in up to around two hours. So on the other side of the hoverboard you have seen those pads which you can press and if you do that basically here under the control PCB there are some contacts touching here other contacts and this one here so this unit there's another unit also here is connected to that um, control circuit which controls the 350 watt motor they're using um, Tau Tau um, main boards so circuit boards and they have pretty good quality at least that's what they told us and here you can see they also look pretty good massive cables and um, let's also talk about the battery which is connected with that cable and you can see it right over here so um, it's a really huge battery pack and it's made by Samsung so um, that's at least what's on the sticker here and they also said it's an original battery so under there you'll find several cells it's really huge it weighs around one kilogram and it has a capacity of 4.4 amp hours at a voltage of 36 watts this equals um, like one to two hours of yeah, um, use time so um, depending on the speed and you see pretty massive cables here also on the inside so here we have some other kind of motherboard which also connects to the Bluetooth speaker and also connects all those things here together, several flex cables. And the same thing you've seen here on the left side is basically also located here on the right side because they're actually equal. Now the rims, they're made out of aluminum zinc alloy, or actually aluminum, something like that, pretty good bearings, rotates without any friction. Now the boards are made by Tau Tau, so the PCB boards you can see here, which is a pretty good manufacturer. And the motors inside, so you can see on the rims here some code, AMK, and they're made by Shinauma or Hang Hong, so I have no idea how to pronounce that, but you can see it right over here, and they're actually the best motors for such kind of scooters. All in all, it's looking 
pretty sturdy from the inside, so nice build quality and also the plastic, really important. So the plastic quality, as you've seen before, you can stand on the plastic, nothing will happen and seems to be nice quality from the inside. Plastic shell made out of ABS and as you can see it's pretty strong so he can even stand on there without getting a crack or deforming and so the plastic and chassis quality looks pretty awesome. All right, guys, that was our teardown. We'll now put it back together, and then I, will, I would say I will quickly try it so I can show you how this thing here works. All right, guys, so thanks for watching this live teardown here from the CBIT 2016. So I think it's quite interesting to see what you can find in such a Chinese hoverboard. And I have to say, it's not really easy to drive with that, but it's really a lot of fun. So thanks for watching this. Have a nice day and enjoy the show. Make sure you subscribe to don't miss any more content, and see you soon in the next one.